Um, my name is Othman Arnaud. Um, I'm uh, in the video game design and development program and I'm really graduating in uh, June of 2023. Uh, I was actually more interested in playing around with video games as in like modding them and just opening up and see how they work than actually playing them. And so, <laughs> well, I thought, well, might as well, you know, just do the actual thing and make games. The other reason was that, you know, the pandemic happened and a lot of people got sent home, right? And uh, it just, for me, it felt like a great opportunity to explore what I really, really love and what I want to do for the rest of my life. And so that's, uh, that's how I made this uh, switch. <laughs> There's a lot about the, the program that I really, really love. Mostly the people. You get to meet uh, a bunch of amazing people. You start off your uh, first term with uh, your, your team on both sides of the program. So whether you're a programming student or an animation student, you get to be on the same team, right? And you eventually get to work together on a major capstone project. And the, the, the bonds you form with these people is just, uh, it's not like any other place or school I've ever been to. It's really, really special. The faculty, the teachers are amazing. They're amazing, amazing people. Uh, they're willing to give you a lot more than what's just on your curriculum. And uh, they're actually always willing to uh, adjust the course outline to suit the team's needs, which is, yeah, it's just brilliant uh, experience overall. My teachers really, really helped in terms of just showing me uh, what my own strengths are in this industry. They're so experienced and they have a lot of connection in the industry. And they, they, when they see us, they really know what each person would, where each person would really, really well, uh, fit really well. Well, one, one, one strength is how dynamic the program is. Nothing is set in stone. So you have a, like a course outline, of course, for each course that you do. It's also very dynamic in terms of, uh, say, you're working on the capstone project and you have like this one of the, or a bunch of the, your assignments could actually work very well if you would do them for your major project. And the professors are more than happy to, to adjust uh, your uh, assignments and stuff to, to, to make them work for your uh, capstone project. The faculty is just uh, one of a kind. I don't know where you get your teachers. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Through through this program, I've learned a lot. So uh, we've already like at this point, at term five, I'm I've already done over like 10, 15 games. I can't even remember. It's it's a lot. Each assignment you get is essentially a little game that you're building, and you're building all sorts of different stuff. And so I don't feel like I, I would have problem problem building any specific kind of game. Luckily for for us, uh, this industry is on a very high high. <laughs> the government of Canada is really pushing very hard to uh, make Toronto kind of like the game dev uh, center of Canada. And so things are happening really fast and uh, there's a lot of opportunity for people to jump out of this program straight into like jobs, full-time jobs. Um, me personally, I'm uh, more interested in uh, pursuing uh, uh, starting my own company. Hopefully we'll start with doing a little bit of our own stuff and then um, once we show our capability, uh, hopefully we'll get contracts to do work for other major companies. One day we'll have our own major IPs and <laughs> hopefully hire other little uh, companies.